Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Bondi Blue and I am back for another family or fiance review, y'all. This episode we had Courtney and Justin, okay? So they're super cute. First of all, I, th I thought Courtney was super cute. I also feel like the dynamics of their relationship is just very familiar to me, <laughs> okay? I am definitely type A. Um, my husband is definitely a more laid back personality so I kind of do control things more than he does but then not really like I'm one of them people that is happy to let you do things and just sit back and be a lady like I'm just happy to just be a damsel in distress when I can be <laughs> like oh like you know I'm here for it but I'm also you know southern bell and all of this I hate to call myself that because that's usually associated with racism but there is a certain um personality or ideal that I think a lot of Southern women have, regardless to whether we are black or white. And that is that we want to be taken care of. Okay. Like black Blanche Devereaux said on the golden girls, baby, I don't want to be treated the same as you. I want to be treated a lot better than you. Okay. And so there is an ideal that our men have to be strong and we should be as the aunt put it, virtuous women. Okay. Which means that we are just white. We protect our cooch except for, for our husband. And we just do whatever they say and just, Oh my God, let him take control. And we love that, but that's not realistic and that's not life. Okay. And in a lot of situations, women tend to be stronger personalities in certain relationships, especially with black women. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, this definitely taps on something that I think a lot of women, especially young black women are going through in this time period where people are still kind of expecting you to live up to certain gender roles. But because you are so used to taking care of yourself, you have a hard time, you know, playing into that. And you also don't like like the idea that as a woman you have to check in but your man doesn't like there's a lack of equality in that mind frame but at the same time there is truth to being able to let a man lead and there is absolutely a good feeling in being able to let them and not having to always do everything like I don't care what anybody says yes absolutely it is a partnership but there are moments as a strong black woman that I am that I want to cry I want to be weak I don't want to do anything and I want my significant other whether that be a woman or a man in my situation a man okay but when I was with women it was pretty much the same where I want you to take care of me okay I'm sorry I do a lot I sometimes want to be taken care of I want to be thrown over a shoulder and fall like <laughs> I want all of that okay so I do understand the duality of it and I understand Courtney's position and why it's so hard for her to see where his side and her side of the family are coming from because essentially her family and his family felt the same way about their relationship. She's controlling and they want him to have a backbone and be the man of the relationship and of their household and just be more clear, be more communicative and have better interactions with her and their family as a man in the situation stop letting her run everything okay now they've been together for three years already okay and they are getting married in September 2019 which was you know a few months back they got married so we're not even gonna pretend like it didn't happen they got married <laughs> it happened already okay so we're glad that it all worked out but let's just go back and go through the trials and tribulations before we got to the wedding okay so one of the main issues is that Courtney does not have a relationship with Justin's mom, Audrey. All right. It is tumultuous to say the least. There is definitely some nice, nasty. There's some shade. There is some uncomfortable body language. It's a lot going on. OK, then on top of that, even though Courtney and Justin have had sex before within their relationship, they decided to be abstinent. I'm not sure where within the three year relationship they decided to do that, but they've been abstinent thus far. And it was Courtney's decision. So controlling. We're not having any more sex. That's what Courtney said. That's what it is so his mom audrey his aunt and his cousin are coming for him and his aunt is kind of judgy okay she said that she wanted him to be with a virtuous woman like i said at the beginning so justin posted a picture of him and courtney on facebook and he was like you know i have a strong woman i love my strong woman whatever and his aunt then starts quoting bible verses under the under the post talking about how he doesn't need a strong woman he needs a virtuous woman and i was just kind of like 
Okay, see, look, you two involved, okay? I'm an opinionated auntie, but what I'm not going to do is make comments about my family members' relationships on social media. I know that some people think that's not my thing. I don't think that that's okay because I don't think it's okay to broadcast, but that's also because I have more of a following than most of the people in my family. Like, yeah, you might have a thousand, a few hundred, you know, subscribers as regular people, but when you have like close to 20,000 people following you, you don't want people coming on your page posting shit about y'all personal relationships because it ain't none of their damn business, okay? Y'all get what I decide to give y'all and nothing more, all right? So that's why I kind of felt a certain type of way about that. Now, in regular life, it may not be that big of a deal, but to me, it is. I don't think that people should be posting, you know, personal opinions about other family members' relationships online, it's just not something that I would do, okay? So I, if I was Courtney, I would definitely have had an issue, not only with the fact that she felt like it was okay to do that, but also because of the way she's trying to play me. Like, what you trying to say? I'm not virtuous because I'm strong. And I think it's so unrealistic to expect for a young black woman to not be strong. Trust me, we don't want to be all the time, but it is, it is sometimes the confines in which we are put in because our men can't always be that strong. It's just not the way this shit has been set up thus far slavery Jim Crow racism here we are okay and here we are with a lot of us taking on type a stronger personalities than our men and it's so funny to me that his mom aunt and cousin all have this same outlook and I'm like but if he is docile mom it's your fault like, I'm sorry, but this whole idea that Courtney was supposed to change who she is because he's not strong enough to speak up exhausted me. Like, how much responsibility is supposed to be on me in the confines of this relationship? Not only do I have to cook and clean and be superwoman, because that's what you niggas want, but then, and, and, and the family members, that's you old bitches want to, but then y'all also want her to be docile and somehow make him stronger while also playing back to him. Too much. Too damn much, okay? Because you, you, you're being hypocritical. At one moment, you want me to lay back and let him be the man, but then you also want me to be responsible for the fact that he's not as strong as you feel he should be. Mama, that's your fault, mama. That's your fault. And it's because you don't correct his relationship with you. OK, it's OK to talk to your mama about issues and all of that. But as a mother with a son, she needed to tell him whenever he came to her complaining about Courtney. Hey, at some point, you need to deal with your issues with your woman, with your woman and not with me, because I'm going to start not liking her and I don't even know her. OK, as a woman, his mom should have already known that. Okay, I'm sorry, but you should. You should know that when people overshare what's going on in their relationships, it then causes the family members to change how they feel. And it shouldn't be like that, which is why Justin should have never been going back to his mom telling her about things that were going on in the early days of his relationship with Courtney. They didn't have a relationship. She doesn't know Courtney. She's defensive of her son, of course. But it's also a part of... This whole, you created that docile son. You created that. Because he shouldn't have to come to you for you to protect him. He's a grown ass man. You should have told him to handle his own situation and keep that shit to himself if he really love her and he really want to be with her. Okay? If not, leave her. Otherwise, stop coming to me crying about everything that's going on with that girl if you want me to like her. Okay? So I think the mama needs to take some responsibility in the fact that she never corrected her son for the way that he depends on her because that's what she wanted from him. But at the same time, you want him to be strong and not be ran over by Courtney. He really He's getting run over by you and he's only going to choose a woman that is similar to his mother the way my husband did. Okay. Me and my mother-in-law have a lot in common. I'm just saying we just two different type of women, but we are, you know, two different generations of women, but we are definitely a lot alike where he chose a strong personality for a wife because he had a strong personality for, for a mother period. So then we get into how, when 
they do come to the house, they didn't feel welcomed by Courtney. Courtney's body language is awkward and uncomfortable. And I think they take it um, defensively. Like they take offense to the fact that she's not welcoming. And I'm like, why are you taking offense to that? It's not because she's trying to disrespect you. It's because she's uncomfortable. Being in that situation, it took a while. I felt like it took a while, but it happened organically when me and Lyric's mom, like I remember it was, we had this hug and I was like, oh, she loves me now. It was a while, <laughs> okay? I had, I had to earn, but it was a real recognized, real situation. I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna be myself. But I also never got that feel that she held me responsible for us not having a relationship outside of my husband. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not really how these things work nine times out of 10. These things happen organically when y'all spend time together. But if he is not bringing y'all together, then it's hard for the girl, you know, Courtney, who's uncomfortable to reach out to his mom. And it's hard for the mom who doesn't know Courtney and feels as if she's controlling her son to reach out to Courtney. So I feel like they didn't put as much responsibility on Justin as they should have, which just shows how it's always on the women's shoulders, whether it's the mom or the girlfriend, fiance. It's always on the women's shoulders to make the man do something instead of focusing on how the man should have been the one bridging the gap between his mom and his woman. So when everybody sits down and voices their opinions, everybody's basically saying the same thing. Courtney's dad, mom, and uh, sister were there and they all felt like they wanted to make sure that Justin had a voice in the relationship and that Courtney was not running over him and he was the man in the situation. Um, I know people don't like those gender roles and all of that but I feel like when men don't have to be responsible they don't so that's why you know you you hear people say oh he has to be the man you got to make him be the man because if if you do everything for him you're gonna end up shooting yourself in the foot <laughs> okay or if you're the person that's always doing something he should be doing you're gonna shoot yourself in the foot so I do think even though the gender role thing needs to be lessened, I agree that he needed to be more responsible for communicating and for standing up for himself because he created issues between Courtney and his mom because he couldn't stand up and say either way what it needed to be with both of them. Courtney felt like everybody was ganging up on her because she was the one that everybody was saying is the controlling one. But really, and it, and it kind of did seem like that. That's why I said I felt like somebody needed to put more responsibility on Justin's ass to stand up instead of putting more pressure on her to sit down. You know what I'm saying? But either way, they all have their respective things to do. She has to go cake tasting with his family and he comes together with her family to cook, okay? So they can have dinner later on and then everybody expresses, you know, how they feel at the table from what happened in a separate situation. So on the way to the cake tasting, Courtney is not really engaging with his mom, but I also feel like his mom's way of communicating is shady. Like, oh, you 26? Oh, I didn't know you was 26. Like, 26 is like, oh. <laughs> like, what you trying to say? Like, what you trying to say? I look older than 26 or I'm more immature? Like, what were you trying to say? But either way, the tone of the questioning um, was very shady. And I understand how Courtney can then be even more, you know, like apprehensive to engage because it's like, I don't even know where you coming from right now with this line of questioning about my age. When they get there, Courtney says that she never felt a welcoming spirit from his mom. Whenever he was in, whenever they were in her presence, she never felt like the mom was welcoming. And the mom says it's because that she heard that Courtney called Justin a mama's boy. So yeah, you got upset about that and had an attitude with her, but it's true. The fact that he even felt the need to run back to you to tell you that and you actually got upset about it shows that in fact he is a mama's boy and you're probably in some ways more controlling of him than you know you need to be. So Courtney says that what about the time where Justin and I came over to your house and you asked him about another girl in front of me? Like you would rather him be with another girl than me. And it just kind of seemed very disrespectful and it made Courtney feel some type of way. So now they're both feeling some type of way, being strong personalities, being strong women as they are. Okay, they both are Miss Audrey. Okay, because I didn't see, you know, Justin's dad come with y'all. 
The mama says that Justin told her that he couldn't handle Courtney and, you know, that she was so controlling. These are the things that he was telling her when they first got together about, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle this girl. She be doing too much. And the mom is like, well, break up with her then. But he was like, oh, but I really like her. And then you have Justin's friends telling his mom that Courtney's controlling and she's drawn a wedge in between them. But really, whenever people get in relationships, their time is then taken away from their friendships. That's just usually how these things happen. Now, Courtney need to pull it back because that man should be able to go and get a drink at the end of his work day without you tripping out. Like he should be able to go and hang out with his friends. He should be able to have a life outside of y'all relationships sometimes. Even when y'all are married, you're going to have to give him space to go and do shit on his own because otherwise you're going to crowd him and it's going to end up having a negative effect on y'all relationship. When you need space, you need space. Give it up. Go do something with yourself and wait for the man to come back. That's all. Okay, I'll go do something. He can wait for you to come back. Either way, you need to give people their space. Men and women need to give each other their space in relationships. Like, it doesn't always have to be just us. You need to spend time with your family. You need to spend time with your friends. That needs to be able to happen without it being a problem. Courtney says that Audrey doesn't know what's really going on in a relationship with she and Justin. And that's because she never really tried to gain an understanding on her own. Then the cousin and mom bring up how Courtney has this really defensive body language. And I don't think it's something that she notices or that she's trying to control. I just think it's the way she's reacting to the situation. Like myself, sometimes it's written, nah, I love her your face. You don't have to say a word. All right, it's the truth. Then we get on the aunt's comment about, you know, needing a virtuous wife, not a strong one or whatever. And she was like, well, because he said that, you know, he used that word strong and he needs to be strong and he needs to have a wife that, you know, somebody's always want to throw some Bible verses at you. And it's like, you know, I, <laughs> I, I use the Bible just as much as anybody else. Nine times out of 10, I use it against people that use the Bible against people. It's my favorite thing to do sometimes. But either way, I felt like it was another time when they're holding Courtney responsible for Justin not being strong enough. Talk to Justin and his mama about that. That's all I'm saying. But commenting and saying that she wasn't virtuous or insinuating that she wasn't almost kind of made it seem like what you're trying to say she a hoe. Like, it was, you know, your mind could have went anywhere with that comment. So her parents and sister talked to Justin about his avoidance issues and how instead of doing what he wants to do, he'll just say, oh, I won't go out because I don't want to argue. Or he'll lie to his mom about why he didn't do something and put it on Courtney just because he feels like he's always being pressured either from his mom or from Courtney. So he'll just say anything to get either one of them off his back, but it creates more of an issue between the two of them. And I think he really needed to be taking more responsibility for that. At dinner, they talk about how Justin doesn't go to the bar because of Courtney and how he needs to man up. Then the aunt gets into how she doesn't like, and she feels like it's a lack of integrity that Courtney didn't reach out to Audrey to pull her in into the wedding preparations. <laughs> I said, I guess a lot of us ain't got no fucking integrity then. Uh, auntie, auntie, let me tell you something, auntie. Okay, like it has nothing to do with integrity. You need to look what that word means. You need to look that up because you can live your life in a Bible. That's absolutely fine. But you don't get to judge somebody's character based off of something so small. Oh, she didn't reach out. Are you kidding me? So that means she has a lack of integrity because she's so uncomfortable with reaching out to his mom why is it not his integrity that is being called into question that made me mad i really really got upset about that comment but either way audrey brings up how she feels as if courtney never makes a real effort with her she was in a hospital at some point and she felt as if Justin dragged Courtney to the hospital. She didn't say anything to her. She just stayed on her phone the whole time. And this whole time, Courtney is getting upset because she was like, really? I didn't hug your mama when we went to the hospital, Justin. I didn't hug her. I didn't say hello. Oh, she was on her phone. Well, we're millennials. We're going to be on our phones. We're just sitting down in the hospital room. I, I mean, I don't know what you want from me. It's uncomfortable. Like, I'm here out of support for my man and for you. I spoke to you. I don't know what else you want from me. Like... 
You know what I mean? I, I totally understood how Courtney felt. She got up and walked away. Her dad followed behind her and told her at the end of the day, can't nobody question her integrity. She knows who she is. And that's that. Okay? So don't let them people bother you. I was like, well, all right, daddy. I appreciated that. You know? Back at the table, now it's being discussed amongst the women that Justin is the common denominator, okay? You're the one that's either bringing back misinformation or not informing anyone at all, okay? Courtney talks to Justin's aunt on her own and she realizes from her conversation with the aunt that they have a lot in common and that they are both strong, difficult women. And she feels like if she's that difficult to talk to because the aunt was interrupting her, she was interrupting the aunt. She was like, if this is what it's like to deal with me, I'm sorry. I understand. I will definitely be self-checking from now on. If she didn't gain nothing from that conversation with the aunt, she learned that sometimes you doing the most and you need to pull it back. And I appreciate that because I do feel like her defensiveness, the looks on her face, her energy can sometimes turn people off, but it's not just her in the situation that's coming with the negativity. His mom was coming with the negativity. Therefore, you know, his aunt and a cousin are taking on the emotions of not only Justin, but of the mom as well. Courtney wants the aunt to respect the fact that they don't have gender roles, but the aunt says that she can't respect that. Courtney says, okay, that's fine, but you got to really realize that we are two different people and we should be able to love each other regardless of the fact that we don't have the same views on relationships at the end of the day we ain't in one together so that that, that really shouldn't matter and that's why I feel like the aunt was too involved you can speak you know your piece or whatever or be vocal I'm vocal so I trust me I understand but at the same time their relationship is their relationship their relationship does not need to run on your rules it needs to run on theirs but there's some mutual love there and we let that go. So then the whole family goes to pick strawberries together and Justin and his mom have a conversation where she says she feels rejected by Courtney and she's worried that with her not having her own personal relationship with Courtney, her son will then eventually distance himself because, you know, they say a lot of the times when men marry women, they leave their mothers forever. And it's like, well, mama, it's not like, you know, you're never going to see him again, but ultimately He's not your man, okay? He's her man. And that's who he's supposed to leave and cleave and be with. And I know that there's a change in a relationship, but it's a positive change. You should be happy that your son is going and forming a family and having a relationship with another woman because that means that you've done your job. It would be terrible if he just wanted to be up underneath you all the time. Like, that's not healthy. But he assures his mom that he's going to always be there for her. He's not going to leave his mom destitute just because he got a woman and got married. But to me, that was also the underlying issue. I don't think that it would have really mattered how Courtney came. She would have still in some way had an issue because she feels as if she's being replaced basically. So Courtney and Audrey finally talk and Courtney apologizes for walking out when Audrey was expressing her feelings at the dinner table. And Audrey says that when they first started dating, Justin said that Courtney was controlling and that she never wanted him to go anywhere. So he just basically vented to his mom and his mom took that vent and internalized it and it shaped the way she felt about Courtney. Courtney says that he never even expressed any of that to her. So he knows that Courtney has a strong personality. So instead of saying that, no, I really want to go and I feel like you're trying to control me. Instead of saying that, he'll just go along with it and then go home and vent to his mom, but never really communicate he had a problem to Courtney. So now Courtney is like, you know, well, he needed to say something to me. Then they get into the conversation about when they went to the hospital. And Courtney was like, I know you feel like he was dragging me there, but I asked him, when were we going to go to the hospital? I wanted to come and see about you. So then that changed everything. He never communicated that to his mom. So now we're starting to realize that Justin is really the one that's causing more issues than he should be, but he's never really going to be held responsible for that. We'll deal with it and move on is if Justin didn't do anything wrong but if it was Courtney we'd be going in I'ma let it go so the next day the energy is much better um even though at the end they said that Courtney and Audrey's relationship is still a work in progress at this point everybody is feeling better so when they stand in front of them to get the blessing everybody gives their blessing and they went on to have a beautiful wedding and you're not gonna always have these picture perfect relationships with your mother-in-law and I also feel like Audrey is kind of weird for not weird I'm not gonna say weird because I feel like when you find out she had good relationships with her in-laws 
else, you understand why she expected something like that to happen between she and Courtney. But I also feel like she wasn't being open with Courtney in order for Courtney to feel like she could be that way with her. So it's going to take time. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. But I think that Justin needs to take responsibility and make sure that he's having times where he has both of them together so that they can have a relationship together, but that he can also be there so that neither one of them feels so uncomfortable around one another. Because the connection that they have is with him, not with one another, you know? So I just kind of was looking at Audrey like, you know, it's great for you to want that, but to expect it to such an extent, I think is a bit much. Pull it back. Pull it back. If y'all are still talking or having communication through your son that's not the worst thing <laughs> okay it's just not all right but either way y'all they ended up getting married beautiful wedding I think they were a beautiful couple but I just really didn't like throughout the episode how I felt like there wasn't a lot of responsibility put on Justin the way it was on Courtney or his mom for that matter you know but either way, the episode was good. I hope y'all enjoyed the review. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if y'all have not already. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one.